Uh, hi guys, so I wanted to show you uh, this uh, monopod that I've been using. Uh, some people have been asking me, they've been like, seeing some of the behind the scenes footage I've had like on, on various pro projects I've shot over the last few months. They've noticed I've been using a monopod, they've been asking what monopod it is. So this one is, both the monopod and the head are from iFootage. Uh, the monopod itself is the Cobra 2, and then the head is the Komodo, and this head I'll first talk about it maybe. It's amazing because you can see very tiny head, uh, but actually can it, it can take a lot of weight. So I can actually put my Ursa up here with the cinema lens and all that stuff, which is around 15 pounds. And this thing, uh, you know, stays nice and smooth and I can lock it properly and, and it stays secure. Uh, it has a little bubble head here in the back. Also, what I like about it is just simple things. The fact that both the pan and the, 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 the tilt here lock are on the same side. Uh, so I can quickly, you know, lock it. All that stuff, the tension is, is nice, has a little sliding plate. Uh, yeah, just overall really good head. What I like about the monopod is, aside from it being just sturdy, um, it's lightweight. This, this is actually the uh, aluminum version that I have, but there's a carbon fiber version. And here's the actual, I have one of their carbon fiber, like their extensions. Uh, and what's cool about it is that, yeah, you can, you know, you can quickly adjust the height and all that stuff. So you can put it down up all that kind of stuff but you can also extend it like let's say if you extend it all the way and it's still not high enough for you you can get these little extensions um, and it's very easy because for example like even just to detach the head you just pull down on this ring and then this thing goes off so the whole head comes out uh, i can put let's see the extension here you can see very quick and i can do the same thing now up here i can put my head here so as you can see i can quickly change the configuration of this whole monopod so it's pretty cool. And the same thing if you want to take it apart. Uh, and it's very secure. This locking system is very nice. So overall, yeah, just nice monopod. The legs are nice and uh, here secure. Has a little ball head with friction adjustment. Uh, you can fold these in very easily. And what I like about it is like on those shoots where it's just me kind of running and gunning it, uh, I can run around with this thing because it's very light. But at the same time, it's almost like a tripod. I can leave it standing there and it's just it just works. Uh, I don't really worry about it. Having a monopod is, is great because you can move around quickly. Uh, you can just lift it up, you know, set it up quickly in a new position, adjust the height. Uh, so, it's, so it's in a way a lot quicker than working with a tripod. Uh, also, you don't have to worry really, really about leveling it because you don't have three different legs to adjust. Uh, so again, it's quicker to level it and just get your shots. Now, as you'll notice here, I was on a uh, 100 millimeter lens on the Panasonic GH5, which has a micro four thirds image sensor. So it's uh, about a, a 200 millimeter uh, lens equivalent on a full frame uh, sensor camera. And all the way up here, when I'm zoomed in on my subject's face, uh, as you can see, it's still very smooth, very steady. Uh, and again, with uh, with a good lens combo and a nice monopod like this, I can move around quickly, get a tight close up. I can get a medium wide shot. Uh, I even did these sh walking shots here. Uh, under this covered bridge and as you'll notice uh, I kind of used it as a as a sort of a steady cam where I kind of had the, the extended the, the bottom of the monopod and I just kind of held it by the top there just underneath the camera and because you know obviously the GH5 has really good in-body uh, is image stabilization I was able to kind of walk around and try to carry the monopod as smoothly as I can and these are the kind of shots that I got where it almost looks like I'm uh, on a study cam. So if you guys are interested, again, it's from iFootage, uh, Cobra 2 uh, monopod, and then the head is the Komodo K5. Um, anyways, I'll provide the links for all these uh, basically things to, and where you can get it right now, best prices uh, in the description of the video. Anyways, my name is Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys next time.